Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Zosha. I'm an independent musician and a freelance graphic designer. And today I'm gonna to teach you how you can animate text to make it look like it's being typed out, also known as the typewriter effect. And I will also show you how you can line this up with music if you're gonna use it in a lyric video. I'll be working in After Effects to do this, and it is a pretty simple technique to do, although it will help if you've worked in After Effects before and have used keyframes. So let's dive into After Effects. So I used this technique in my lyric video for Time is Running Out, and I will show you a clip of how it looks here. I think I'm drowning, asphyxiated. I wanna break the spell that you've created. Okay, so I will show you how I did this first phrase here, and I will turn off the layer so you can see how I made it from scratch. And I will zoom in here so you can better see what I'm doing. So first step is grab the type tool and create a box where you want your text to appear. And then type in your text or lyrics. And just adjust it so it's in the right spot. And I'm gonna go down here and adjust this just so it only shows up where I want this text to be in the video. Okay, I'm gonna open these layer properties by clicking this arrow. And then over here next to animate, I'm gonna click this arrow and select character offset. And then down here by animator one, add, I'm gonna add property opacity. So then I'm going to change the opacity to zero Okay, I'm gonna move my cursor to the beginning of the text. And then under range selector, I'm gonna hit the stopwatch next to start and change the value to zero. So that'll create a keyframe right there. And then I'm going to bring the cursor to the end of the text and change the start to 100. And it will automatically create a new keyframe there. So there you can see it's already creating this effect. The only thing is the letters are fading in instead of appearing like they would be if they were being typed. So I'm going to go over here, open the advanced tab and change the smoothness to zero. And there, now you can see it looks like it's being typed. So that's the basics of how you create the typewriter effect. Now I'm going to show you how you can change the flow and speed of the typing if you want to, for example, line this up with music. So first I'm gonna find out where the end of this first line is in the song. I think I'm drowning. Okay, it's about right here. And then I'm gonna adjust the start value so that I can see all of the letters in this line. So I just need to increase it a little bit. And then that will add a keyframe here where the first line ends. And then I will do that for the next line. And here we have too many letters, so I'm going to decrease the start value. Okay, and then the third line. So now I have each of the line breaks where they should be. Now I'm gonna go through and add a few more keyframes so that I can make each line appear faster or slower. I'm gonna select this keyframe where the first line ends. And you can toggle between keyframes by hitting J and K on your keyboard. So my cursor is over this keyframe. I'm gonna click on the keyframe and, and copy it by hitting Command C. And then I'm gonna drag my cursor over to the left where I think I would want the line to end. And I'm going to paste this keyframe by hitting Command V. And then I can move this keyframe to the right or left depending if I want it to appear faster or slower. Okay, then I will go to the second line and find where that keyframe is. And copy and then 
move my cursor forward and paste and adjust that as necessary. Now I will do the same for the third line. And the fourth line. Okay, and now I will show you how that looks. I think I'm drowning, asphyxiated. I want to break the spell that you've created. So once I have the first phrase created, I will click on this layer and duplicate it by hitting Command D. And then I'll shift it over to the next phrase so that I'm working off of the first one instead of recreating it from scratch. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning the typewriter effect. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.